Hello, welcome to Front Page News. Danielle Smith finally succeeds in setting up the framework upon which Alberta's provincial jurisdiction is needed to make the province's unique economic, cultural and political governance flourish and more importantly, get the Trudeau government to stay on its own lane while backing off with its incessant overreach and intrusion on provincial sovereignty. And of course you can bet that it's a good day to be in the West. In a really interesting manner, after only 10 days since it was first introduced, the Sovereignty Act legislation pioneered by Alberta Premier Danielle Smith was approved by the Alberta Assembly early Thursday morning. According to Danielle Smith passing Bill 1, also known as the Alberta Sovereignty within a United Canada Act, would give the province the ability to stand up to the overreach and interference in areas of provincial jurisdiction by the federal government. These areas include private property, natural resources, agriculture, firearms, the regulation of the economy, and the delivery of health care, education, and other social programs. This bill establishes a statutory framework for the province of Alberta to formally defend its provincial jurisdiction while simultaneously respecting Indigenous and treaty rights, the Constitution of Canada, and the courts. At each of the final three phases of the bill, the majority government, which the United Conservative Party controls, first voted to pass resolutions that would limit debate and speed up the approval of the bill. Following that, the section that would have given Smith's cabinet the authority to alter legislation outside of the parliamentary process was removed from the final version of the bill. This came as a response to the criticism of the bill. Therefore, the government proposed modifications to remove those powers, even though the Premier is yet to comment on whether or not the initial wording was intentional. And following the amendment that was passed by the United Conservative Party to confirm that the Alberta legislature has the final say in the process of lawmaking, the bill was passed on to the third reading, and it was finally signed into law in the early hours of Thursday. The final vote was 27 to 7, although all of the opposition members of the Legislative Assembly from the New Democratic Party voted against the bill. And at each of the three readings, the New Democratic Party cast a vote against both the amendment and the measure itself. Meanwhile, Danielle Smith has announced it is time to reset the relationship with the Trudeau Liberal government. She also noted that it was not like Ottawa as a national government. In a similar manner, at the time the bill was being proposed, Smith had mentioned that she hoped Bill 1 would never have to be used in the province. And of course, that would depend on the condition that Justin Trudeau and his liberal minions do not continue to pass aggressive policy targeted specifically at the province's industry and specifically at Alberta's development of its natural resources. Got a comment? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Also, share with as many people as possible. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. See you next upload. Thanks for watching.